In recent times, we have been told about the story of Kiradi. Kiradi has got an exciting story behind it. Excuse me. Archaeologist had wanted to dig in um, Madurai. However, Madurai is like any other Indian city, settled, a very expensive land, no place to obtain land for archaeology and so on. So he used his intuition and said that in ancient Madurai, if the supply chain is coming in, where were the highways? And where is one day's worth journey from outside of Madurai? That's where a camp might have been. Well, he went to Kiradi and he said that's where it might have been and he struck gold over there because he found an urban uh, settlement right there in Kiradi. Outstanding methods used by this uh, uh, archaeologist. And they found, they found several artifacts over there. However, the real story is not there. The real story is in this news item that came out saying that they excavated up to 4.5 meters depth at uh, Kiradi. However, they sent samples from 2 meter depth to Florida, USA for carbon dating and they came back with a date of around 300 BCE. Everybody was happy. They're happy because it fits into the common narrative beautifully and nobody questions. However, I scratched my head and said, what on earth is this? ASI reported 4.5 meters depth of excavation. If you think the top layer is 2017, then the two meters down by their own carbon dating is 2200 years. Therefore, every meter in depth should correspond to 1100 years by a linear scaling which means 4.5 meters should correspond to approximately 5,000 years before present. That is 3,000 BCE. So why would ASI only report the middle layer result? Why would they not say we found a range of artifacts from the bottommost layer to 3,000 BCE to around 500 BCE? That would have been a much more honest representation of what was found. Well, it's not very surprising to think what's going on because you see the, in October 2017, Tamil Nadu government took over the Kiradi excavations and also the archaeologists involved in Kiradi project was transferred out of there. So there is clearly an attempt to uh, control the narrative coming out of Kiradi. If people were to come out saying that Kiradi is 3000 years old, uh, sorry 3000 BCE, then they are in an uncomfortable situation of trying to explain what are we teaching our school children? Why are our school children still learning that 500 BC is when Dravidians appeared in the record and uh, Vedic structure was imposed on them? So any urban settlement in South is only 300 BC and older. They have to explain that. I believe they have taken the easy way out. I honestly hope that I am mistaken. But uh, the, uh, this, this is a very strong uh, uh, piece of uh, data jumping out at us. The glass factories of Arikameda. Arikameda is one of the most well-kept secrets of Puducherry. If you go to Pondicherry and you ask a rickshaw driver, please take me to uh, Arikameda, he'll scratch his head, he'll have no idea. But I was lucky to find a local living there and uh, he appeared to know where it was. And so we took off in his car and after searching for some time, there are no roads to go there. You had to cross some fields and so on. We were able to go to Arikameda, there's a picture of me over there. This is mentioned in the Periplus of Erythrean Sea. Periplus of Erythrean Sea is a port sailor's document that says where are the trading ports for Roman sailors. In that it finds a mention. They traded in muslin and glass beads. Mortimer Wheeler, he was the first guy to excavate it over here. He placed it to 100 BC to 100 current era. He did this because he found a bust of Augustus Caesar there. And he, when he found a bust of Caesar, he said 30 current era, so let's put the date from 100 BCE to uh, 100 current era. That was the way he dated it. Vimala Begley was one of the archaeologists from 89 to 92, and she said the date must be 200 BCE to 700 current era. Now, all over the Indo-Pacific, you find glass beads. If you Google for Indo-Pacific glass beads, you'll find enormous numbers of papers out there. These glass beads have been found in Japan, Korea, China, Bali, Indonesia, all of these places. And they all bear the chemical signature of the factories in Arikameda. In other words, the, the metallurgy, sorry, the minerals used in making the silica and other things bear the signature of Arikameda. That's what it means. So these have been dated up to 300 BC and so on. So that gives us pause to wonder whether it is older than what they're telling us. Well, I found this diary by Vimla Begley and she says that Trench 7 is the one that yielded the oldest material we uncovered back to the second century BC. We had to stop working because we were under the water table and even a large pump could not keep the water out. In other words, it was not the terminus of finding artifacts that is 200 BCE, but rather a technological issue that did not allow them to go deeper.
So today the ASI has covered it up once again with mud and all this. So behind this wall, you see a coconut grove growing. It's under the coconut grove that uh, Arikamedus remains are. You can't see that today. 